Hi, this is Tina Stewart with Serendipitini Studio, and today I'm going to do a product review of the RAS, which stands for Real Art Supplies Texture Paste. I bought this from Jerry's Artorama, and I've been wanting to uh, do some texturing, and so we're just going to test this out today and see how it is. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a thick paste, and I'm just going to apply it with a brush. It goes on like almost like um, like a white acrylic paint, and um, you kind of have to apply it thickly to get what you want. And my goal with this is I want to be able to do impressions. Um, you can maybe see on my board I've been playing around with texture already. I want to be able to make like a stamped imprint or something and then paint over it. So I'm just doing a little splotch on here uh, to see how this goes. Now I've already learned from some homemade texture paste I made that if you do it too soon it's really not going to hold the shape. Okay, so I ran my blow dryer a little bit on this. I wanted to see if I could dry it a little faster so I could experiment. So here is a section I haven't imprinted yet and I thought maybe if I wait and let it dry a little bit more it might actually give it even a more raised look to it. And above here this is some uh, texture paste I made myself from a recipe but I haven't had a whole lot of luck with the homemade texture paste. You put plaster and gesso with some, uh, if I remember right, I think I used a Mod Podge combination. And first of all, the plaster got lumpy, so then I had to put it through a sifter. And it was still kind of runny. And even as it dried, it's starting to get a crackly look. I can already see it starting to pucker. I don't know if you can see that, but just curious to see if I can uh, do anything with either of these two. So. It's had a little more time to dry. It's starting to set up a little bit. Let's see if it gives it even more of a raised appearance. So I'm going to use my sunburst stamp again and put an imprint on it. No. I can't really see the imprint on there. It doesn't make a good shape. So maybe if I wait a little bit longer, it might do better. I don't know. And then I'm also going to try just putting an impression in this paste I made myself. So as this starts to dry, it takes on almost a feels a little bit like a latex texture to it and it gets a little harder uh, but it's still you can still make impressions with it so I'm going to try again to go in with this little sun that I have uh, on this side over here and see what happens Okay, that time I don't know if you can see it, but it actually made the impression a little clearer. So if you wait uh, a little bit, like I blow dried it for maybe five minutes to get it to dry a little bit more, uh, it makes it a little bit better imprint with it. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to try it on my homemade batch and see what happens. Yeah, that one worked a little bit better too on that one. I don't know if you can see it, but 
So you do want to wait a little while before you, if you want a distinct pattern that you're working on, it pays to wait a little bit. And you can also, make sure also before I forget to tell you this, uh, make sure that you clean your stamps off really well with like a soft brush, uh, old toothbrush will work fine. But I um, just want to show you that you can make um, an imprint with this. Um, by using tools like okay here's the for instance I just grabbed a what do you call this a shish kebab skewer which I always have these hanging around but um, you can take and actually draw on this a little bit and do uh, like I don't know if you can see the squiggles I'm doing here but so you can actually form it a little bit although it's still a little bit gooey here probably could wait a little bit more but so you can get some imprints in there with that um, I have stamped on these before but you want to make sure that it's completely dry when you do that so all in all I said if you if you were to wait without blow drying this it would probably take about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how thick you put it on but if in your if you're in a hurry, you can use a blow dryer to do it. And um, just to show you a sample of what texture looks like once you get it on there, this one has uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like raised elements in it. And I've gone in with stamps on top of it. Uh, which is kind of fun to do and gives it a unique look to it so it adds a lot of character so this is just one way to add texture and I'm very pleased with this um, texture paste because it's nice and thick and so it allows you to uh, go in and make uh, images as you wish